The XRP space is on the brink of a potentially seismic change. There has been talk of burning all of the XRP in escrow, but at present the burn rate is only 5,000 XRP daily, or 1.82 million XRP yearly. Theoretically, this rate is likely to increase. Some analysts have gone as far as to claim that as much as 25,000 XRP are being destroyed. It is linked to Ripple's escrow accounts according to daily reports. A former Ripple director's comments have escalated the situation to the point where it seems like Ripple may execute a catastrophic burn of all the XRP in escrow. It appears that the likelihood of this scenario happening is more than just speculation which adds to its intrigue. When it comes to timing, Ripple Labs is spot on. Many are wondering if the nearly $1 billion worth of XRP that Ripple Labs has announced a buyback from its circulation supply is related to Ripple's SE settlement or if the buyback is essential because Ripple still needs XRP. Another theory is that it could be an escrow burn. A complete escrow burn of Ripple's XRP would have far-reaching consequences. This is what I've determined. In light of Ripple Labs' growing number of partnerships and the XRP needed to support them, it appears that a valuation of $10,000 per XRP could be required to sustain and grow the company, even if the token's value ends up going up to $10,000. Before we dive into today's content, let's take care of some housekeeping. Would you mind doing me a huge favor and giving me a like, subscribing, and... and turn on those notifications to become a part of our lively community? According to numerous articles, Ripple's cross-border payment partnerships will cause XRP to reach $10,000. Leaked and widely publicized reports, including one from BlackRock, as well as Ripple's increasing dependence on XRP's exponential growth trajectory, as well as its growing global partnerships, all point to its global expansion. The study highlights the main ideas of XRP's changing function as a worldwide payment service. The recent announcement by the Central Bank of Ireland regarding its intention to utilize XRP for international transactions is adding fuel to the fire. This move confirms that XRP is a legitimate payment option and gives official recognition to Ripple, the company behind XRP, as the owner of a registered virtual asset. An important step toward realizing XRP's promise in the global financial sector. As part of its global payment solutions, the Bank of Japan has started using XRP. A central bank digital currency based on the XRP is in the works with over 30 central banks at the moment, joining a larger trend. Rumor has it that these 19 central banks' ledgers have amassed XRP worth over $9.4 billion. This sum does not even consider the possibility that the Federal Reserve may use XRP as a fast payment system. From what we can tell, the Federal Reserve Instant Payment Platform is thinking about using XRP to oversee the blockchain part of their payment system. It is impossible to exaggerate the significance of the U.S. Federal Reserve's intention to fully own Ripple Labs and XRP this change clearly demonstrates how much people believe in XRP's technology and how well it works for modern financial applications. Efforts to halt BL and retail the Federal Reserve's strategy, which abandons the creation of a conventional CBC digital currency in favor of the XRP ledger and digital assets, is to benefit from the Ripple system's eco-friendliness, efficiency, and low-cost nature. More than eight countries' central banks, including the UK's, have teamed up with Ripple Labs to implement the Ripple Net system, making this strategy all the more relevant. The XRP ledger further emphasizes the Federal Reserve's engagement with blockchain technology. They stated in one of their reports that a major role for XRP and XLM in the Fed payment system's blockchain component may soon be announced by the Fed. Services collaborating with Metal Blockchain for rapid fiat and stablecoin conversions is a significant step toward merging traditional banking with decentralized banking. Digital cryptocurrency wallets or third-party applications like PayPal and Venmo are the only current options for U.S. citizens to make instant domestic payments. But plans to integrate cryptocurrency into the FedNow system's architecture are in the works at the moment. New users on this platform include a U.S bank exchange, a bank, and a plethora of payment processors and solution providers among more than 120 other organizations. The innovative international payment systems and open source distribution offered by Ripple have made it a hot commodity and the company may soon be integrated into FedNow. The financial technology company Ledger Technology is one of several being considered for this endeavor. Additionally, the FedNow service is considering Stellar Lumens XLM as a potential partner. Stellar Lumens is a blockchain-based payment network that enables cheaper and faster international transactions. This brings us full circle to our initial discussion points, the likelihood that XRP will soon reach $10,000 and the possibility of a mass exodus of XRP from Ripple Labs escrow. These two events are interconnected and represent a major milestone for the digital asset, 
as the planned mass burning of XRP by Ripple escrow could serve as the impetus for XRP to reach the anticipated $10,000 price point. The claims made by former Ripple director Matt Hamilton, who claims that the company might burn all of the XRP held due to its ongoing legal battle with the SEC, have made this expectation much more certain. This disclosure is particularly significant for its escrow account since it suggests that such a burn may be a part of a future settlement agreement. The consequences of this are far-reaching. Not only could a dramatic reduction in the supply of XRP cause its price to skyrocket to $10,000, but it would also attract an influx of institutional and retail investors seeking XRP-like digital assets for international payments. Since the supply of XRP would fall precipitously, the value of each token would have to rise. It is mind-boggling how many transactions XRP is anticipated to process. The amount in question exceeds 1.2 quadrillion. The magnitude is well depicted in this piece, which clarifies that XRP intends to facilitate transactions exceeding $1.2 trillion USD, and that's just one part of the issue. This sum doesn't even begin to cover the potential impact of XRP on other major systems and players. It leaves out the possibility that SWIFT will use XRP as a payment method. Financial giants JP Morgan and BlackRock are said to have begun buying over 7.5 million XRP and SBI plans to increase XRP remittances throughout Southeast Asia. This computation fails to consider Ripple partnerships such as the one with a payment giant to enhance digital asset transactions and enable cross-border payments in Africa. When these partnerships are considered, the necessity for an even higher value of XRP becomes apparent. Besides the trillions from the commercial sector, there will be an extra quadrillions from governments and central banks that adopt XRP. Every XRP coin might be worth anything from $50,000 to $75,000. Even though this isn't going to happen anytime soon, it lines up with XRP's plan to facilitate massive international money transfers. I originally invested in XRP due to its technological potential, even though its current value is only 62 cents. In order to oversee massive quantities of capital that persuaded me of its value. Because of this potential, XRP should be worth much more than its present value in the future. The content of these videos is solely intended for entertainment purposes and I do not hold the title of a licensed financial advisor. Before making any major financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own research and consult with experts. Please let me know if you enjoyed the video. It would mean a lot if you could subscribe, like, and comment on it.